should is do. 3.4 says the following. If A, B, C, D is a kite with A, B equal to B, C. So this is the sketch. A, B, C, D is a, sky, is a kite. Said A, B equal, is equal to B, C. So we might as well keep that in mind. If this is a 15, this is automatically going to be a 15. Let me remove this so we don't get you know, confused. If it's a kite, it means that if these are equal, uh, these also have to be equal. You know, it's just properties of a kite. You know, things that we need to know. And then, as long as that's happening, let's see here. They said, um, determine the coordinates of C. C is this point up here. Now, them telling us that this is a kite, it's kind of crazy, but the main reason why they will be telling us it's a kite is because they want us to know the properties of a kite. Because if you don't remember the properties of a kite here, you're gonna get lost. One property that's useful to us is that as long as this is a kite, um, this line is gonna be equal to that one. You know, it's just how it is. So let me just remove this so that I can just put this. This is more relevant to us, so let's just give it this. So that's okay. the properties of the kite. You see, your lines here will be equal to each other. So <clears throat> if you're gonna get C, knowing that these are equal, what can we do to get C? I don't know. Well, actually you do know, you know, you just wanna have, you just need to look at the sketch a bit longer because we have A and we have T, but we need C instead. Because remember, this remember. means that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know if we can actually use this method, but I do remember there was a one instance where um, in one of the questions where we could use the midpoint formula with C was put in for the coordinates of the actual midpoint and then use the coordinates for A to work mm. out for, uh, for C. Yeah. 100%, you know, you know, like definitely everything you're saying is exactly what we need to do because we have the midpoint of a line. Remember, a formula works not only for one thing. A formula works for everything that it has inside it. So if you have the midpoint of a line and one side of the line and you have a formula that works out the midpoint, if the midpoint is already given, it means that your formula can be used for something else like something that may not be given, which is maybe like, for example, here, the other side of our, of our line, you see, because on the one side of the line, we have negative two and uh, a negative five, you see. So as long as these are there, I mean, you know, you're good to go. You can just use your midpoint formula because remember we said the midpoint formula, it's not just one formula, it's two formulas in, in one. Because it's a formula that gets you the x value of the midpoint and a formula that gets you the y value of the midpoint. You see? So what you already know is that the x value of the midpoint you have, it's a four. So you can just put that into your formula. The one x value of your coordinates you have, which is negative two, the other one you don't have. So you can just leave it open. And then you can solve it using this formula. The same thing for the y, you know, it's a formula on its own. We're just so used to using them together that we forget that no, they, are, they can be used individually, you see. So here, the y value is a seven. And then y1 here is a negative five. And then y2 is like uh, whatever y2 is, we don't know yet. So you can just solve for these two now, you see. Where we have the two times the four is the eight. Because here we're trying to get rid of the two, right? Yeah. So we multiply by two on both sides. And then um, here we're gonna have negative two plus x plus the two x there. Then the two goes over, it's gonna be eight plus the two. There you go. Here we do the same thing. So you can multiply by two here, multiply by two there. Okay. This is like 14, negative five plus y2. 
move that over, that's like 19. And then we are good to go. Shing. Like that. And then it just means that therefore C is 10 coordinate 19. And then we'll get how many marks are they offering here? They are offering just two marks, which is very underwhelming, but you can see why they really didn't put too much, you know, effort in giving us marks for that question. Because they the re, it's the re, the reason why they taught us the kite is because we need to now use properties of a kite in our sketch. Because without us knowing that this is good to this, you can imagine getting this was going to be almost a big, big nightmare. We're going to take forever. Cool. Oh.